And we welcome you to the Fantasy Baseball Update on Wednesday, May 26th. 14 and a half games to talk about from yesterday as one of them was postponed until today. Adam Azer, Eric Mack, Al Melky are with you. And uh, we'll take your emails at dmfantasybaseball at cbs.com. That's D as in Diego, M as in Maradona, fantasybaseball at cbs.com. A very World Cup fantasy baseball podcast. That'll be the last reference. When's that start? Uh, like June 12th or something like that. June 11th. Can't wait. Call Vito, close. by the way, thank you for the DM, Diego Maradona. Yes, very excited for that. So we got uh, coming up, as always, injuries, news, and notes, NL scores, AL scores, quick pitch, look ahead to today's <laughs> games uh, and your emails. And I want to get your take on the first quarter MVP in the AL and the NL. We'll do that real quick uh, after we do the injuries, news, and notes. That's where we'll start, where we look at the Baltimore bullpen. Koji Uihara, Alfredo Simone, who has a strained left hamstring, both go to the DL for the Orioles, which makes, uh, which makes us look at their closer situation. And last night it was Will Oman, who's had a really good year. He pitched a scoreless, a scoreless ninth with two strikeouts. So should we be picking him up? I think he's, he's the If you're going to pick somebody up, he's the guy um, because he's been the best guy in their bullpen. Uh, there was a report yesterday that he was the most likely candidate, but there's still nothing definitive. I think there's going to be something of a closer by committee there. But a lot of times, uh, just like we saw with the he Twins. He didn't get the save, though, right? Right. No, no it was, it was I don't think it was a save, uh, save uh, opportunity, yeah. but he pitched the ninth. So that, yeah, it doesn't really tell us much. But I think in the end, he'll uh, win out over, you know, guys like Clay Meredith and, and David Hernandez just because he's, you know, he's got closer stuff. Brandon Wood with a hip injury and a 156 batting average heads to the DL. Now, I, yesterday I suspected they were going to go with some type of mental distress to get him on the DL. <laughs> with hip. They got him there with the hip injury. Meiser Isturis gets activated. Any yeah. value there? I wonder. Well, I wonder who gave him the hip injury. But, <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> uh, Isturis, yeah, no, I mean, some value. I would say, you know, AL only value, but, um, you know, can be a good on base guy, some steals. Um, you know, nothing to get. Uh, all, all in a nod about, but, um, you know, can be useful if you need uh, a middle infielder for AL only. Chris Iannetta has been recalled from AAA. What do you think? Any value there? Can yeah. he have an impact? Oh, yeah. No, I'm very excited about this. He'll start off at least uh, in a timeshare with Miguel Olivo. But Oli I Olivo's been doing good. Why would they uh, bench him? Bench Olivo? Because yeah. uh, I think over time that uh, Iannetta will outproduce him. Um, but yeah, It's going to nah. be difficult when he's on the bench. <laughs> I think he's going to be a backup. Uh, the, well, the, the I, I like Ionetta. Yeah, I do. I, I but Olivo's doing fine. They're a contending team that likes the veteran he is, handling their pitching staff. He's very streaky. I mean, you know that from from over the years. He's very streaky. So I think even if Ionetta winds up on the short short end of the stick with playing time to start off with, I think he'll get his opportunities. You know, it's not a sure thing because he's mashed in the minors and then you know struggled yeah. at times, particularly with batting average. But uh, the guy's just got you know too much. Uh, too much skill, I think, to, to blow another opportunity. J.J. Hardy is off the DL, and he started last night against the Yankees, so that is good news. Fred Lewis was scratched from the lineup with a bunion on his left foot for the Blue Jays. Now, that might not sound like a terrible thing, but in 2008, he had to have surgery on, your, on a bunion on his right foot. So uh, does that scare you? We'll call him Paul Bunyan. There we sure will. <laughs> Fred Bunyan. Freddie Bunyan, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Dallas Braden, he left Tuesday's start after four innings with a sprained ankle and says it's been a lingering issue. He doesn't expect to miss his next his next start. Uh, he's likened this to a paper cut, but a lingering ankle issue, never good. Yeah, well, if he can, you know, pitch with, uh, you know, basically no feeling in, in one of his feet, uh, you know, he's obviously a pretty, pretty tough guy, but... Uh, that guy has no feeling in the, his heart. He's, like, ice cold. Yeah. Well, he's he's definitely tough. He's definitely a competitor, no doubt about that. Uh, any other thoughts on that, or shall we uh, page Dr. Emac? Sure. Let's, All right, let's do page it. Him. Uh, Victor Martinez has that toe issue. We talked about it yesterday that is problematic because Veritech can uh, take the lion's share of uh, carries this week with the, at the catcher position. So Victor's going to get plenty of uh, days off. That's frustrating because it happened on a Monday, and we couldn't project that. Jacoby Ellsbury now looks like he's not 100%. He said he was a little sore, but now it's getting worse than that. He's going to get checked out, and it might even – might even be uh, something more serious than needing days off. Mike Cameron came off the DL. He he's going to also need days off. So Darnell McDonald stuck around after almost getting designated for assignment. And uh, Brad Lidge might begin a rehab assignment this weekend. They might not need too many outings on that rehab assignment. He could be re able to return next week. That could cost uh, 
Jose Contreras some closing opportunities down the road. Not immediately. I think Contreras would stay in the closers role.